Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Datasphere training. In the last episode, I showed you how to consume your analytical model built in Datasphere with the help of SAP Analytics Cloud. We built a dashboard for sales data using our Datasphere analytical model with a live data connection in Analytics Cloud. In today's session, I will show you the power of location dimension which we create in Datasphere and how can we leverage the same as part of SAP Analytics Cloud. Before you start the session, please like, share, subscribe this video. Do not forget to share this channel with your fellow colleagues so they can also take an advantage of this overview training on Datasphere with us on YouTube. For detailed training on Analytics Cloud and Datasphere, Please like, share, subscribe our course on anubhavtradings.com. So let's get started our today's episode. Okay. Let's try to add a GeoMap now. So in the in that SAP data sphere, what we have done, we have created our sales transaction, and that sales transaction have association with the store ID view. This is store ID view which you look at. We have actually created a location dimension in the store ID view. This location dimension will have a special impact on SAP Analytics Cloud. So now I go back to SAP Analytics Cloud and what I will do is I will utilize a control called GeoMap. And let's add this GeoMap, change the map type. Let's say I choose dark gray. And now I'll just click on add layer. Let's call it as sales revenue by store. I just click on location dimension and you can see this location dimension. This is exactly what we created in our data model under data builder in SAP Datasphere. So if you go to the store view in SAP Datasphere, you would notice that in this particular store view, I think I've opened the table. Let me go to the store view. Yes, this is the one. We have enriched our data with a location dimension. So you see, I've added this location dimension function, which is what makes makes it comfortable for us to create a location. And since the location dimension, you see this location dimension is created, I will be able to utilize this in Analytics Cloud. You see here it is coming. So now I choose that and I choose bubble color as revenue. So higher the revenue, lighter the color. And wow, look at this. In the geo map, now you can see across US, we have got the different different bubble colors. So wherever you have business in US, in all the different counties and cities, you see these are the different stores we have. So you can see the legend, lighter the color, higher the revenue it is giving. In addition, I can also choose bubble size by which store is giving me highest profit that particular bubble will show in a bigger size if the size is too overwhelming you can come down and reduce the size a bit in proportional percentages so that we can definitely do it so these are the different stores across us i have in my data set coming live from sap datasphere and projected on a geo map look at that cool so this is how exactly we can go ahead and design a dashboard by utilizing the additional dimensions which we have. All right, so thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP Datasphere. As usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end-to-end -end on SAP Datasphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubhavtrainings.com. Also shoot us an email on contact at anubhavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, Anubhav signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.